Okay, this tutorial is to show how to do a transition from the uh, idle state of a character to a work state of the character. This means that uh, we will have a character that is initially in an idle state, so it plays an idle animation and then it will start moving. The final results will be like this. Okay, we have Python character, press play. This transition is uh, controlled by the up arrow keys. So if I press the up arrow keys, the character start moving. And if I stop pressing it, the character will stop. Do it again, we press, then we stop and he stops. Now let's see what we have here. We have Ethan, that is a character from Unity Standard Assets. So if you want this character, you have to download the Standard Assets of Unity and import them into the Unity project. So here I have also some animations like Humanoid Idle and Humanoid Walk. The first thing to do is to drag and drop Humanoid Idle into the animator. The animator is a finite state machine for animations. So we have the starting point here and the first state will be humanoid idle. Then we have to, okay, I already did it, but you have to associate this animation controller to the character. So for example, here, there is the animation controller, here there is Hatton, and you have to drag and drop it here. So now we have the uh, initial state, that is this one, and we create another state, that is walk. So we go to animations, standard sets animation, walk, drag and drop the animation walk here, and do a transition both sides, make transition from idle to walk, and from walk to idle. Now we select the transition, we add a parameter here, a float one, and we call it walk. Then we go to the transition and we say that, okay, we add walk and if walk is greater than 0 0.1, then we do the transition from idle to walk. What is this value? Afterwards, we will create um, a monitor to the arrow case of the keyboard. And when you press an arrow key, Unity reads the value. And if this value is greater than 0 0.1, then we, uh, we will see it unmoving. And we do the same for the opposite. So we go to walk, we add this parameter and we say if walk is less than the one, then we come back to humanoid idle. Okay, so here we go. Now it's time to create a script. I already created this script, so I will do a new script and we call it transition tutorial. Okay, create and add. Okay. Edit script. And we have it here. So First thing to do is to add the animator, private 
animator anim and a value a float value that will be the um, the value of the pressure of the arrow keys so we have the animator anim we we obtain yeah the component <laughs> the component animator and then in the update function we do something like this input get axis vertical this means that it will read continuously the up keys of the keyboard and then animation set float walk vert. So what we did here, here we did something like this start function. So when the um, the game start, we obtain the animator component. Then in the update function, so uh, continuously we read the value of the arrow keys so we check if the user press the up arrow key or not and we um, we um, set this value as walk parameters this way if this value will be greater than 0.1 then we will see a thunder that is walking so if we press the up, up arrow keys we will see a thunder walking if, if instead we don't press it or we stop pressing it Ethan will do a, a state transition from walk to idle so here we go can hide here so I am pressing the arrow key here okay, let's do it again you see it on here So now here we have the arrow keys. I press the, the up. Then I stop and he stop. I press again. Okay, so this is the final results. So this is just an example for having a transition from an idle state to a walk state. Of course, you can have several other states, for example, running. So you can have a transition from idle state to running or from idle state to other states. For example, if you have a first person shooter game, you can do a transition from idle to take the gun and shoot.